the bat-eared fox, a carnivore that has forsaken meat-eating in favor of hunting insects. For the first four weeks of life, newborn fox cubs are hidden away in underground dens, out of the sun's intense heat, and away from lurking predators. A litter may number as many as six, and their mother has the mammoth task of finding enough food to sustain her suckling cubs. Unlike its canine cousins, the bat-eared fox is not a hunter of red meat. In fact, it's the only member of the dog family to have abandoned meat in favor of feeding on invertebrates. Incredibly, insects make up to 80% of the bat-eared fox's diet. Its teeth are completely different from other dogs. They're small and well-suited to a diet of insects. Its eight molars mince rather than chew its prey. But it's how the bat-eared fox hunts that really makes it one of the most peculiar of African animals. These inordinately large ears are essential for finding the fox's food. But how? The fox's ears are so highly developed and so sensitive that they can focus on the slightest sound. Using this extra acute stereo hearing, a bat-eared fox can even hear the tiny subterranean sounds made by underground insects. It's listening, not eyesight, that is of paramount importance for this predator. This means that the bat-eared fox is able to hunt at any time, day or night. Termites like these are such an important food source that wherever they are found, bat-eared foxes are never far away. The fox moves erratically, head turning from side to side, each ear working independently of the other. Both ears are cocked to pick up the slightest sound. They home in on the target. When prey is located, the cunning predator approaches ears cupped just above the spot where termites are moving several inches below the ground. Then, with lightning speed, the fox digs until it finds its prey. 